Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I noticed that it's been a while since I used the color green, so I wanted to have a whole green moment today. And I thought, why not try one of those bandana eye looks? So I was on YouTube looking for inspiration, and I came across this video by Peach Gonzalez, and I noticed that she was the only one who really did this whole swirl look on her eye. Everybody else I noticed just did like the flowers and tiny versions of the swirls on their eyes, but I wanted to do just like a whole big look. So I was inspired by her today, so go ahead and check out her channel. Without further ado, let's get on with the look. I'm going to start off with the face today, so first I'm going to prime using my Benefit Professional Primer. Now I'm going to apply a little bit of my ColourPop No Filter Foundation Stick. And blend it out using my M439 brush. I'm going to conceal the highest points of my face with my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I'm going to blend this out using my Morphe M173 brush. While we're here, I'm going to quickly prime my eyes with that same brush and my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Now I'm going to set where we just concealed using my Morphe E48 brush and my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 05. Now I'm going to set the rest of my face using my Morphe M527 brush and my Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Press Powder. Alright, let's zoom you in so we can get started on the eyes. First, on a Morphe M456 brush, I'm going to dip into the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Straw Breaker Pell and put WOW in my crease. Now I'm going to pick up Virgin and blend this outwards. Now I'm going to go into the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette and pick the green that is right underneath the yellow in the bottom row. I'm going to blend this in with the yellow. Now I'm going to pack the darker bright green that is diagonally down from that green I just used and pack that all over the lid. I'm going to go back in with that yellow green and blend that in on the edges. And then going back in with that dark green to make sure it is all opaque enough on the lid. Now with a M410 brush, I'm going to carry on that darker green onto my lower lash line. Now I'm going to go back with our fluffier brush and take the yellow green and blend that in on the edges. Okay, so I have a picture of the bandana for reference on my computer right next to me, so I'm going to start off with my M250-1 brush and my BH Cosmetics White Concealer, and I'm going to create the swirl kind of pattern shape, if that makes sense. Okay, so I did it too low and it was just not looking that good, so I'm going to redo it a little bit higher and I know you can still see the old one because I just covered it up with eyeshadow, but it'll be covered up with black and some other details and stuff later, so it doesn't really matter that much. Okay, let's just try this again. There we go, that, look, that looks much better already. Now I'm going to take my black liquid eyeliner and make the um, bumps, I guess, that are surrounding the inside of the white swirl. Now I'm going to take a nail dotting tool and make dots inside of all of the little bumps that we just made as well as outside of the swirls. I'm going to use the same nail dotting tool to make the flowers inside of the swirl.
I'm going to take my eyeliner one last time to make the black star in the center of the two flowers. There's one more on the outside that I'm going to do. It's kind of like an arrow shape. All right, I'm going to do the same thing to the other eye and I'll be right back. Now I'm going to contour using my Morphe E4 brush and my Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour Kit. For blush like usual, going in with my ColourPop Super Shock Blush in the shade Holiday on my Morphe M405 brush. For highlight, I'm actually going to start off with the bright white shade at the bottom of the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette just because I think it has a yellow green shift to it but I'm probably going to layer other highlights on top of it depending on how crazy blinding it is. I mean, it's definitely there, but it's really subtle compared to what I normally like to use for highlights, so I'm going to try to find another greenish white highlighter. Okay, I don't have any greenish whites like I thought I did, so I'm just going to use Drawbreaker from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Drawbreaker Palette. For my inner corners, I'm actually going to add some glitter, so I'm going to first put down some of the NYX Glitter Glue. And going into the JolieBeautyBomb.com palette, I'm going to put the shade Zest in my inner corner. Going to take some green eyeshadow and just blend out this a little bit just because it's like too harsh for my liking, but it is really pretty. Lastly, for lips, I'm going to use Jeffree Star's Equality, but I'm going to line them using the NYX Lip Liner in the shade Mint Condition. Here's the finished look guys, really hope you enjoyed today's video and if you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe, hit that little bell icon so you never miss out when I upload and I will see you in the next video. Bye!